Now we will be solving an RLC circuit using second order ODE. Given this problem, find the current I of T in an RLC circuit with resistance 15 ohms, inductance 0 0.5 Henry, and capacitance 10 to the negative 2 farad, which is connected to a source of EMF or E of T equals 115 sine 377T. Assume that current and capacitor charge are zero when T is equal to zero. So finding the current, we have first to find the general solution for homogeneous ODE. Next is the particular solution. After that, the general solution for the non-homogeneous ODE. The non-homogeneous ODE will be um, general solution for homogeneous ODE plus the particular solution. First, we will draw the circuit. Charge, which is 115 sine 377T connected to resistor 15 ohms inductance 0 0.5 Henry and capacitor 10 to the negative 2 farad voltage cross here we will find the equation through this loop using Kirchhoff's voltage law Kirchhoff's voltage law is the summation of the voltages and is equal to zero so first negative 115 sine 377 T plus 15 times I, remember we are uh, gonna have the voltage plus 0 0.5. Now, um, um, inductor is V is equal to L di over dt. So, ang ibutan nato dire is L 0 0.5 di over dt. Plus, sa kapasitor, I is equal to C dV over dT. Now, in finding the voltage, so voltage is equal to 1 over the capacitance integral of I times dT. So, we have 1 over C, capacitor, 10 negative 2, integral of I dT, all equal to 0. Now, ato ni siyang i-derive on both sides, or just its equation, rather. So, deriving this, we have sine, derive, the derivation for sine, sine will be cosine 377t plus 15di over dt plus 0 0.5 this will become di prime over dt plus this will become 100 i equal to 0 now di over dt is equal to i prime so we can rewrite this as 15 i prime plus 0 0.5 i double prime plus 100 I. Now we have to transpose this 115 times 377 cosine 377t. Okay, we will rewrite this again 0.5 i double prime plus 15 i prime plus 100 i is equal to 115 377 cosine 377 T. This is the homogeneous ODE.
Now, the characteristic equation will be zero point five lambda squared plus fifteen lambda plus one hundred and is equal to zero. So we can now find the root by calculating. The first root will be negative ten. The second will be negative twenty. We can call this as Overdumped through this through by, uh, by looking at these roots because these are distinct real roots. So, pag overdump siya, nai nani nga uh, nani ang yung equation for the general homogeneous ODE. Mm -hmm. C one E to the first root, which is negative 10. So we can have this as negative 10 times t plus c2 e. The second root would be negative 20. So negative 20 times t. Now we will find the particular solution of this. In finding the particular solution, we have to find first the reactance. S is equal to omega L minus, sorry, 1 over omega times C. Now, omega here is 377. So, we can write this as 377 times L, which is 0 0.5 minus 377, then 10 to the negative 2. Now, the reactance now is 188.23. We will be using this one later. Now, the particular solution in finding the, in, in this equation is, in this problem is, A cosine omega t plus B sine omega t. Now, we know omega, which is 377, and here also. Now, our problem is finding the coefficients, which are a and b. In finding the coefficients, this will be the equation. a is equal to negative e naught times s, which is the reactance, over r squared plus s squared. For b, e naught times r over r squared plus s squared. Now, e naught is equal to 115. So, 115 times s here, 188.23 over r squared is 15 squared plus 188.23 squared we have cal in, after calculating we will be having 0 0.607 now for B E naught is 115 R is 15 R squared 15 squared plus 188.23 squared now that I um, no, it's positive. Positive 0 0.048. Now we have the particular solution. Finally, A is negative 0 0.607 cosine omega is 377 then times T plus 0 0.048 sine Omega is 377 times T. We will be using this later on for finding the general solution of non-homogeneous ODE. So we will write this here. Cosine 377T 
plus 0 0.048 sine 377. Now our problem now is finding the general solution for the non-homogeneous ODE. For finding the non-homogeneous ODE, we have homogeneous general solution for homogeneous ODE plus the particular solution. Now we have here the homogeneous ODE general solution is C1 e to the negative 10 t plus C2 e to the negative 20 t plus the particular solution which is Sorry, ignore that one. Negative 0 0.607 cos sine 377 t plus 0 0.048 sine 377 t. Now our problem is finding the constants for this two, C1 and C2. So we'll set t equal to zero. So C1 E negative 10 times zero plus C2 E 30 zero, zero point six zero seven cosine 377 this would be zero plus zero point zero four eight sine 377 times zero e to the 0 will be 1 so c1 plus this will become 1 also plus c2 now cosine 0 will be 1 0 0.607 and sine 0 is 0 so leave that one as 0 now we can find we can make use of this c2 c2 is equal to 0 0.607 minus C1. We will be using this one later on. So, we have to derive this general solution for non-homogeneous ODE and set T is equal to 0. Derive and set T equal to 0. So, we can have negative 10 C1 E negative 10 0 negative 20 C2 E negative 20 times 0 0 0.607 now deriving cosine this will become negative sine so this will be positive then sine 377 T is equal to 0 plus 0 0.048 sine will be cosine 377 t is equal to 0. Now here, this will become 1, negative 10 c1, 1 also, so negative 20 c2. Sine 0 will be 0, so leave that 1. Cosine 0 will be 1, so 0 0.048 times 377. Now substitute c2 here. Negative 10 c1 minus 20 c2 is 0 0.607 minus c1 plus 0 0.048 377. Now 10 c1 negative ah uh, no negative 20 plus 0 0.607 will be 12.14. Now, 20C1 plus 0 0.048 times 377 will be 18.096, all zero. So, negative 10C1 plus 20C1 will be 10C1. Negative 12.14 plus 18.096 will be 5.956. equal to zero. Now, we can have... 9, 5, 6, this will be negative. 10, C1 is negative 0 0.5956. So we can now find also C2. C2 is equal to 
0 0.607 this will be positive 0 0.5956 so C2 is 1.2026 so this is the final answer let's just write this here IT C1 now is negative 0 0.5956 where is it? E to the negative 10 P C2 is 1.2026 E to the negative 20 P minus the particular I plus the particular solution 0 0.607 cosine 377 P plus 0 0.04 a sign 377 t